What's up Wolfpack and welcome back to another strategy gaming video. I am Steel Alpha Wolf and today we have ourselves another how to video and so I'm super excited for doing another one like this. Got some great feedback on the fusion power how to if you haven't seen that check it out up here of course. Uh, otherwise what we're focusing on today is gas power. Now when it comes to gas power what's great about it is as long as you've got sludge it's a fantastic avenue to go in terms of energy generation. It's somewhat high cost but it's a lot of power and it's just a lot of fun to build like every other build in this game. Now gas power is more of a mid early to mid game sort of power generation generation at the end of the day your late game is always going to be fusion power or at least should be what's a bit of a flaw with gas power is that you do need flammable gas which can be generated from sludge now i'll be doing tutorials on every single energy that there is other than solar and wind turbine because that's just a matter of placing it down and there you go it does the work for you but uh, if at the time that you're watching this those videos exist you'll find the link to the biomass up here leave that there for a second and then you'll also find the link to nuclear right over here or in a couple seconds. Now, what's great about gas power is that it is actually pretty simple to build in terms of an infrastructure. But of course, like everything else, the first thing you need to do is get the research. And to be able to get the research, of course, what you have to do is level up your HQ to level two. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, we are in sandbox mode, so nothing's going to happen at the end of the two minutes. But always remember that at the end of your headquarters, a massive wave of enemies comes in. And it is definitely two to even sometimes four times larger than a standard wave that you would get at the timing of this. So if you're not like if you barely survived the last wave don't go upgrade your hq right now you're not going to be ready for that one that's coming now the first thing you're going to need to do is have a pool of sludge now don't go into it it does a lot of damage <laughs> and so some really important tips to keep in mind when you're planning to use a sludge pool uh, one enemies cannot go through it so it's a pretty awesome obstacle it can be used that way but do keep in mind that wherever you end up putting your pump it needs to be either out of range. So for example, if I put a pump here, it can be hit by the ranged units from here, right? And so that will probably eliminate my power generation. Whereas on the other hand, if I put it here, it will be safe. It can't be attacked by any range units. The problem is though, is that there is a limited range similar to portals and how portals function in terms of range from each other. For example, I can't put a portal here because of the one over here. I have to go all the way over here. Um, the pump is the same. It's a shorter distance, but if you want to get two pumps out to get as much gas power as you can, you'll want to put them on each end. The fact is though, one pump will be enough. So in this particular pool, the strategy would be to put it right here, and then I don't have to protect the pool. All right, so now that we have our headquarters at level two, the next thing you're gonna want, of course, is to get your research centers. Now, I always advise that on your first research centers rounds, you'll get two. That's a good amount because the fact is they cost 50 power which early game is quite a lot now because we've got cheats unlocked and all that kind of fun stuff it doesn't matter for us and i'm just trying to show you guys what it's going to look like so the first research you're going to have to get is as usual liquid transport right so liquid is going to unlock the pump the pipes the storage and it's going to get us to as you can see gas power so we're going to go ahead and research that a new technology has been developed new buildings are available for construction all right, so next thing, like I said, is gonna be gas power. So gas power will give you the gas power plant as well as the gas filtering plant. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. All right, and that's it for research. So that's one of the benefits, like I said, is that gas is a little less complicated. You can get it pretty quick in the game uh, and research it at level two. Now, the only problem though, is that gas power actually requires headquarters level three. So that is now becoming a lot riskier because your tier three HQ level up is a pretty massive wave. So again, just like your first one, make sure you're very well prepared for this level up wave. All right, so while our base is actually upgrading, we can begin laying down the infrastructure. So of course, first thing you're gonna do is put down a pump and connect it to storage. Now from there, uh, your pump generates 50 sludge per second, whereas your gas filtering plant requires an upkeep of 50 per second. So per pump, you can only have one single gas filtering plant. So we'll connect that. And then it's always recommended that between every liquid station, it's not mandatory, but it is safe to have storage between every single one of them in case anything goes down. Uh, if your power goes down in the middle of a fight, for example, and you lose the ability for your towers to actually defend, you're going to lose. 
Now, one of the problems is that this generates 50 slush per second, but filters at 25 per second. So you get 25 gas. It's an off number because the problem is that your gas power plants actually require 10 flammable gas per second. So you would only be able to make two and a half which is obviously not sustainable. So you'd only actually be able to put two down, which is not nearly as much energy as you would like. So what we can do instead is you're gonna wanna go ahead and get liquid resources transport level two because that'll double the amount of sludge that you can pump out and you'll see we'll bring the 25 per second gas that gets filtered to 50 per second, which of course can then be spread out over five gas power plants. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So as you can see, it's very compact. Like I said, level two pump into storage, into two gas filtering plants, into storage, into five uh, of the gas power plants. And then you use a pipe spacer. This is very important, this spacer here, because you can fit this one in between these two pipelines here. And then like that, you run the pipeline through and then they're all powering up accordingly. Now, again, gas power plants are quite expensive, 300 ironium and 400 carbonium. So it's a pretty big investment for early game, but it definitely does make sense to get one or two in the early game with just a single gas filtering plant, because even the gas filtering plant is 200 ironium and 300 carbonium. So it's quite an investment. Mid to late game, kick it up to level two pump, get yourself the second gas filtering plant and add three gas power plants and you're gonna have yourself 2,500 energy uh, from the gas power alone. And then of course it's only cool if it's lit, right? And has flooring. It's not overkill. That's it for this tutorial and this how-to. Thank you very much for tuning in. And so of course if you got this far into the video, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications so that you can find out about more how-tos, more strategy gaming videos, more Rift Breaker, all that kind of fun stuff. I'm just having a lot of fun creating this kind of content for you guys and I hope that it helps you guys uh, and just makes you want to actually try the game even further. But uh, without further ado, Steel Alpha Wolf, signing off.